Hello my friend, thank you for being here and here I am with another tutorial and this will be how you can make a, a timing and a backrest, a tuffet. To make this, uh, the material that you, you are going to use it is very important because if it is too hard, uh, will cause you like trouble, will give you a hard time. If you don't have experience doing this, uh, will take you for longer and my not coming right so it is very important just make the hole i already made the hole those hole are inch and a half deep and um, the radius is one inch so you're going to measure in the material and then you're going to give extra you see for example i i cut i made those diamonds from that hole, from the center of that hole, half four inches and seven inches. You can make those diamonds uh, any size you want. Any size can be four, can be five by nine, can be five and a half by nine and a half, or five by eight. Even you can make a square. Look, uh, the design can look like a square, not a diamond. Those marks that you see right there are not necessary to make it. I just made it to show you in case if you are using like leather, you know that the leather for furniture is kind of soft and for a car it's harder than the furniture. In case if you are using a harder material, you, uh, you might uh, need to cut those lines in there. I am talking about those one, those lines only those ones. Sometimes you have to cut it in order to get the right shape. And sometimes uh, you don't have to, most of the time you don't have to cut it. But sometimes it is a lot of easier to uh, figure out those diamonds just by cutting the phone on, on the side. One thing that I want to point out is uh, making a diamond or taffet in the furniture, it is different than the car. Car is like a different technique that you're going to apply to make di diamond on a car seat or in a door panel. It is kind of, it is a different technique. So I'm going to start cutting this material, but first before you're going to cut the material, you have to know the size of the material, the measuring. I'm going to use the measuring tape. And whatever size it is the material, you have to give extra. Why do you need to give extra? Because you see those holes in there? On those holes, I'm going to give two inch extra per hole. That can be buried, can be different. Why? Because if you are using a four inch phone and I want the button to go like two inch I want to pull the button two inch, so I have to give according to that pull. I have to give extra. If I'm going to use, use a one inch thickness phone, I don't, I don't have to give two inch extra. Why? Because the phone is one inch thickness. Same thing with two. If I am using a two inch thickness phone, I cannot give two inches extra. Will be one inch extra and then I will pull. So all the pen, how deep do you want and how a, a thickness phone are you going to use? That's the, going to tell you the extra material that you're going to use for uh, get the right shape on those diamonds. So keep on mind those things. I'm going to give two inch extra per hole because I am using a four inch thickness phone. But, that can be different in a, in a different thickness phone uh, will be different so you have to count it the whole let's say if you have like 30 36 you're going to count count the whole let's say as uh, you see a uh, uh, cross half on the center has six hole so 36 inches plus two inch extra per hole six hole are 12 inches so that will be 48 inches if you don't give it the right amount, the right uh, measurement, and then you try to figure out that diamond, 
it might not uh, figure out when you are trying to fall and for the for the diamond you might not get a, a get it uh, the right form so you see right there it have four inches width I get six inches two inch per hole and right here has seven I give nine two inch extra per hole so you got you have to keep on mind that those little um, detail I put a mark on top I am using chalk never ever use a, a permanent marker if you go in, if, when you market the material you can use a permanent market if you're going to market uh, on the back of the material but I prefer not to use permanent marker not sometimes the mark you can see it through it and you can say of course the button will be on top yes but think about it any mistake any mistake that you made it you might be able to see that mark and you saw something that is easy to remove you see I got the material on top I already uh, made the button I put a uh, button twine on those buttons and I'm going to start putting those buttons in there I'm going to use a needle I made a needle at a one a uh, wire I used uh, I used a wire for the headliner to make the needle so and I'm going to start from the center most of the time I start from the center but uh, it's not a specific rule that it says that you have to start from the center all depend on technique so I just put one button in there and I'm going to pull a little bit and then you will have to start forming those diamonds. Don't pull the button all the way because you're going to adjust it, adjust it a little by little. See, I just pull a little bit, then I will put a hand rim on there. I, I, it's not a hand rim, it's a, a staple. So I got one button, then I'm going to put the needle on the other mark. I am using those marks. I put the needle on the other mark and I put the, put the needle through it and I pull, pull a little bit. I put another staple in there, just making sure to hold that part in there. If you see a lot of wrinkle on the material, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it uh, the, uh, because you are barely start doing it. and I start from the top you see I start from the top most of the time you have to start from the top if it is a backrest you have to start from the top and and keep going keep going all the way to uh, you reach to the bottom part of the backrest see I got three buttons and I will put the other one and I pull a little bit then I hold that button with the staple right now it's not looking like diamond right uh, little by little, I will get in. Uh, I will uh, make this backrest look like a, a diamond. So I got a top row already. So now I will start like uh, trying to uh, put the material in place. And I get the other mark, and I put another button on the bar on the center line. You can start from the side, you can start from the top, any any place you want to start, that's fine. Just make sure to uh, put the button, the button, the needle exactly on that mark. And I will put the other needle, the other button on the side. And like that, I will put all those buttons put the needle on top of the mark I pull the button a little bit and you see you see me right now I just put in the button in and I, I, I am not holding that twine with the staple I will do it later when you're going to make a, a car interior with diamond on the seat you uh, you have to sew those diamond you have to uh, sew it on the machine because it's different it is a different technique like I say 
so now I'm going to start you see me I'm getting like folding that, that material and I am not pulling those uh, all those uh, buttons already I just put one staple so on some of those uh, buttons I might remove that staple if I need to adjust it okay I got two rows of buttons and I have to do the last one right there uh, you can uh, see the diamond start, get, uh, start looking like diamond that backrest start looking like like uh, uh, diamond but it's not done yet I have to put one more row to button I put the needle And now you do the same thing with the other row. When it's a big piece, especially in furniture, uh, it will take you time if you don't have experience doing it. So I got the four rows of button already. Now it is time to uh, put that material in place and make it look like diamonds because you have to uh, make that part look nice you get that right at that diamond side you cut uh, you mark the material right so those diamonds that uh, that design should look nice and I start putting a staple And I'm going to start right here from the center. You can run uh, the material one way. See, I am folding, and I will uh, keep the other um, see, I am running the material one way. Do that uh, fold right there should be equal, running one way. And I just pull and put one staple. And I do the same thing right here. I might remove the, set, the first staple that I put it. Don't pull it too much right here. It is not necessary to pull it too much. So I got one part, the top one, and I'm now I'm going to start working on the bottom. It will be the same thing. And you can see him on there. You have to play with that thing. I remove that staple because I don't like it. And I put one more new staple in there. So now I will do that, um, the bottom. And I do the same thing. And this part to be plain. This is a time consuming. How long it might take you to do something like this? All depends how much experience you have. If 
to you no cover this in hour and a half that's perfect so I got one side already done so I'm going to do the other side and I fold it making sure to uh, that I made that running the same as the other side and I put a staple in there and right here you can make it this way you see how I made it I have folded and you can make it the opposite way any way you want see right there that corner look awesome in there it is almost done it is not done yet I have to pull the button a little bit more adjust it make all those buttons same height and then uh, check those diamonds have to look equal in case if one of those diamonds doesn't look like, like even like look like weird I have to uh, put that material in place and maybe lose the button a little bit or maybe pull a little bit more so you have to use your own adjustment when you are making a job like this if you don't like something better take them apart because it's better uh, take them apart and fix it then and then the customer come and say I don't like this part and if he don't if he, the customer don't like it, you have to take him apart and that's not good better to, uh, you to fix it before the customer come so I go I am putting this material in place because uh, to fold it I want that part it is not that tight sometimes when you don't give it like the right uh, uh, the right um, mat um, extra material and you pull it will look weird will look weird and you don't want to, uh, that to see it I am going to pull all those uh, twine and put a staple on all of them. Make sure when you are pulling those, uh, those that twine, those buttons have to look even. So you see me pulling that that those twine and put a staple. Made that twine holding with the staple. Sometime on the seat, there is no way how you can put a staple. So you have to find another way how you can do it. And there are a different way how you can make a uh, diamond on the uh, car interior. So those these things are very important. You know, uh, you see me giving like two inch extra per hole to make it look like that so I got this part right here and I just have to pull the, the side twine
and this is the last row of button that I am pulling and you can see right now the that backrest those diamond almost done I just removing some staple because I am adjusting the thread the button thread and when you are making those diamond make sure to fold the material in the same direction it had to be equal running the same way you see I told you that I'm going to remove that staple and that's what I am doing right now, removing and put some more staple. Try to eliminate all the wrinkles on the side and on the top. It doesn't have to look with wrinkle this uh, backrest. And there is, you can see it is almost done. I don't like this part right here. You have to use your own judgment which part do you like in case if you don't like something take them apart my friend don't take that risk that a customer will accept that thing that you don't like it and it look nice it look nice And there is now we're going to cut in the trine. I don't need that trine. I will put an extra material material on top on there, and I will wrap it with uh, vinyl. But I won't show that part. I just uh, want to show how you can make a timing or taffer on the backrest. This video is all about that. I will cover that part behind the scene. But that will be easy, easy to do it. The hardest part it is this. And now we're going to cut cut off all that excess material. Because I don't need that material in there. So and there it is, it's done. And you can see him on there. The measuring it is very important to make it look nice and all depend how many height do you want the button because I can pull it a little bit more but I don't want that I don't want the button to disappear I want to be able to see those buttons and I can see them on there if you see those diamonds are running on the same way that when I fold the material it is running the same way it is very important sometimes the customer tells you when a customer is a particular they tell you which way they want uh, to run that uh, when you fold in they tell you which way that they want some of them but there is it is a small piece this piece it is a 32 by uh, 14 And there it is, my friend. It is the, done this backrest. And you saw me uh, cutting the material. You saw me putting those buttons. And there is the final result. If you don't have experience doing furniture or doing this kind of job, like tuffet or diamond on a furniture, it might be hard for you. Because you don't have experience. But that's normal. When somebody starts doing something for the first time, it is not that easy. But if you are practicing, 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 you will get it, you will get it and it will be easy or normal for you to do it. On this video, I'll give you an idea how you can make it. If you are learning about a poster, this is an excellent video that you can uh, watch it and, le and learn. But if you're an expert doing car interior or furniture, this video might not show you nothing new. But I really appreciate it that you are watching this video. Thank you for watching. This is just an idea how you can make diamond in a, on a piece of wood in a backrest and a bottom cushion. This is just an idea. Thank you and see you in the next video.